Hi guys and welcome to another NDA news feed. Today we're going to be focusing on reckless lending. What is it and what can you do about it? So in a nutshell, in 2007, the National Credit Act was implemented. And this basically outlined the rules which the banks needed to follow before lending consumers any money. So looking at things like debt to income ratios, affordability factors, verifying income, were all things that the banks needed to do to make sure, uh, in order to make sure that you could afford the repayments. If the banks didn't do this and failed in their obligation, what money was lent to the consumers could be considered reckless and therefore unenforceable. So what does this mean to you? Well, if you find yourself in a position where you are over indebted, you need to ask yourself one of two questions. Am I here because I've had a change in circumstance and it can't be helped? Or am I here because I've been lent more money than I was able to pay back when I maxed out my lines of credit? If you find yourself in that second category, then you'll find yourself like with most of our customers. Good news is, is that there is help. What you need to do is find yourself a debt review company who specializes in DCRS rule sets. It's very important that they follow those rule sets because that allows them to solve your debt problem within five years or less by reducing interest and freezing charges. Not only that, but make sure that the debt review company also specializes in reckless lending applications. Now, every debt counselor is supposed to do it, but not every debt counselor is equipped to be able to handle it. A good debt counselor will be able to submit an argument to the magistrate's court at the same time as your debt review application, and then allow the magistrate to rule on the, on the reckless lending application. If you don't want to go down the debt review road, then alternatively, you can approach your lender yourself, or you can approach the National Consumer Tribunal who will launch their own investigation. Ultimately, the goal is the same, to get yourself back in a position of financial redress or where you would have been had you not borrowed that money in the first place. Guys, thanks for your time. That's all I have to say about reckless lending. We'll see you next time.